Hi, I'm Jimmy Bauer from I Hate God, and this is my shit. All right, this is my guitar. It's a Gibson Sonics. It's a deluxe 180, and they only made these for like, I think, two, two, three, three years, I think. And uh, it's uh, made of composite wood, so it's like it's really heavy, and it, and it's a, uh, it has its own unique tone, and it's like a re real bassy as compared to some guitars, which to me are a little, you know, eh, 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 you know, the, this one's it's more like, Whoa. and uh, I only have four strings on it, because when I was learning, I couldn't control the feedback from these two, so I took those off, and uh, they're Diodario uh, strings, they're the jazz, they're 56 through, I don't know, whatever, 18 or something something like that we tune to C so we're not we're not as low as some bands are nowadays but but uh but C to me is like a good spot you know works for us uh, I got the pieces of tape on the frets on the uh, dots because some normally it's pretty gets pretty dark so to give a little advantage on being able to hear a little better you know I mean they're, they're, some people think these are shitty guitars. I love them. They're, they're definitely a bottom of the line Gibson, you know, from the, from I think it was 79 through 81. But uh, I love them. They're unique, really unique to uh, my guitar tone. So I just actually put this pickup in. It's a Seymour Duncan, some uh, distortion or something like that. Uh, I forget, but uh, I really like it. it it's, it's got a lot of bite to it. It's a uh, it actually gives a little bit of treble on top of the real low sound I was talking about that this guitar gets. And I've always put my tone knob on zero. So that's this pickup, you know, and that's the only one I use. That's just there to, for pretty, for show. But always, tone knob always on zero. Again, adding to the bassy effect, you know. So. This is a solid state Ampeg SS150. Um, these were real popular with like Florida death metal bands in the in the mid 80s, you know, like uh, it's, it's when Solid State was good, you know, for like for like distortion and I don't know, it's just we grew up, everybody had Solid State because nobody could fucking afford a Marshall, you know, whatever. But these are gold, dude. They're, they're super loud. I also play a Randall RG80, uh, but that's in the van. But I usually run two heads, but a lot of problem with, with the Randall, you have to run a pedal, and I was getting a lot of extra noise that I didn't feel like dealing with it. This, you can plug straight into it, and it, it's just got, to me, it's a beautiful tone. It's perfect. You can, uh, you can cut the mids back. You can go high with the mids and get a real, completely different tone than when you cut it just back a little bit. And it, it's, it's, to me, this knob is playing with the saturation, you know, that, that this it is unique for this head. It's really, you know, it's just good. And you plug it straight the fuck in, and it's great. I got the uh, gains on 10, the lows on 10, the mids about three quarter, highs on 10, and this is the volume. Usually put that about right there. But I mean, dude, this, this, these, People are like catching on to them, I think. Well, all right, and they're, they're just, you know, there's a small group of people out there that really love these heads. And for, for solid state, you can't beat it, dude. It sounds the exact same every night, you know, so, you know. It's awesome, I love it. I used to have two of these, but these are the old messes. I bought these from Kirk and Crowbar in 95. Yeah, for, I think it was 500 bucks for either two of them or whatever. But but yeah, same same cabinets from back then. That goes to show how good they're built, you know. They sent, this one is real, real muddy and low, you know, and I love it. It's like, that's why I have it on my side, you know. But it, it's just, uh, it's just really, really, really nasty sounding, you know. It's like the bottom speakers, I think, are the originals in there. You know, we do a lot of rumbling shit and feedback type stuff, and, and for the chunks, you know, it's just it it moves air good, you know. And then over here, yeah, same same thing, just you know, just a little bit different design, and that one's got wheels on it. <laughs> and I find if you don't 
if you put the cabinet on the stage without the wheels, you know, you get more bass out of it, you know. These are actually really killer. They make their fender, and I got them because they don't tangle up, but I, shit, I've probably done six, seven tours with these. That's spilling beer on them and shit, you know. So, I mean, it's, these are good, dude. Highly recommend those. Uh, Polytune tuner, because like I said, you know, straight in with, straight in with this, this puppy, you know. And uh, I use those orange picks, you know. That's actually a super joint pick, wow. They're Tortex, you know. They're just the orange Tortex. It's the one I've always used, man. All right, well, cool. Glad y'all listened to me ram my head off about this shit. Uh, you can check us out at IHateGod.ee, and you can see tour dates and everything like that there, you know. And, uh, yeah, come check it out. Fuck.